All right, hello, 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 hello. This is a video on the, uh, I got this, uh, I guess I was one of the first three people from our uh, pool shop, RNS, uh, to uh, actually get this and install. I'm gonna turn this, the filter off so you can hear a little better. Um, you might've heard a gurgling a little bit. I think, uh, I think that's a normal thing, just to let you know it's working. I actually like that, because it's not any louder than the uh, sand filter. Um, but it does let you know that it's in operation. You can also see at night there will be a slight glow uh, around the rim and on the bottom uh, that you know the light is on. But uh, this replaced the, uh, 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 also by Pentair, the IntelliClor 40, IC40. I know a lot of people have this unit if you have a less than an 18,000 gallon pool like I do. Uh, when I originally, we originally got the pool, it came with a C20, IC20, uh, a little smaller and um, this is, uh, we replaced this a couple, three years ago, and it, there was just a lot of maintenance uh, and the salt. We did have a, a leak in the pool issue, and so we were just add, dumping salt in, and uh, yeah, just kind of, after it all being said and done, we added the, uh, so when we added the UV filter this year, just about a month ago, uh, not even a month ago, we also added this, and a lot of people will be uh, are familiar with this but our, our chlorine is way down. In fact, that's still up a little bit. Um, you know, we just, uh, we needed to get our chlorine up a little bit, so I had it up and now I just reduced it down. And uh, when I first got it, uh, my wife was a little more concerned about stuff in there. I'm like, the, the, the UV light kills all the bacteria. So we have it 1.5 now, and uh, that'll probably go through not even three tabs a week. Uh, uh, with that. So if you know your pool supply costs, that is going to be really low. Even if you pay a uh, full price uh, for a bucket of those things at Costco or your favorite pool store, uh, it's going to be a huge difference. Let me stand back. I'll just show you the configuration. We had a just, we had a limited space with our heater and the pad. Uh, so we did a, a side mount that way. And uh, thanks Sean Kelly for uh, helping out uh, Tim Whalen, uh, their company, pool uh landscape and arts they uh they thought of this configuration and I, I like it so i can still get to things i can still get to the the switch and the filter you got to move around a little bit but overall pretty happy with the configuration i'm not a plumber but uh i know i've dealt with other plumbing issues just uh, uh flipping some other properties and doing that and whatnot so uh but that's it it's uh you got your different shutoff valve to change the flow it's got the little monitor on top, which I'm sure you probably read extensively about by now. But I also didn't find a whole lot of videos on the subject. So hopefully this will help you in your search. The reason why we went with it was uh, one for just the whole coronavirus and making things cleanly. But overall, if you just think about it logically, if this thing is killing most of the bacteria, then uh, or any bio living thing as it passes through, even though it's not 100%, right? That's what the little bit of chlorine is for. I've had no problems with the, the pool at all. So it, it keeps it super clean. Um, we're running our chlorine pretty low. Uh, it is, when I last checked it, it was uh, on the low side, just with the uh, little uh, test thing that you get, test kit, it was uh, somewhere between two and four, very light, uh, just above the one, two mark. So, uh, you know, from that coloration standpoint, uh, it's been a real hands-off thing. Even when I had the chlorinator set to uh, one, uh, it looked exactly the same. So I think that it's really doing the job well. Uh, you know, the tail of the tape will be, you know, at the end of the season. And we've had some hot days. It's uh, middle of July at recording this video. And we've had it installed since um, certainly the beginning of July. So uh, uh, we've had no problems. And that just, I, I've, I noticed it right away uh, on my skin is just a lot more, it's just a lot softer overall. It's more like uh, true bath water without any soap or anything in it. So uh, if that's what you're going for, if you have people with sensitive skin, I highly uh, encourage you checking it out, getting uh, more education on it. Hope this video helps. And uh, hey, uh, like and subscribe to this because I do stuff on more of my pool opinions as well as uh, you know my fun cooking videos and other things like that that you if you like this you might find that entertaining as well All right, that's what I got. Thanks for watching and uh, hope this helps